Hi, I'm Angela Young and I'm here with Rob Thompson, nationally known expert oil dowser here in the United States. And he's gonna tell us a little bit about what he does and why he's special. All right, yeah, so uh, I'm a uh, third generation oil dowser and my grandfather was uh, oil dowser in the uh, 30s and 40s and located a lot of oil in Nevada and California. He found the Hollister oil wells, they're still pumping today, over 60 years later. Did he teach and, you how to douse and your family? Yeah, like it's... yeah, he did. And uh, started when I was 10 years old, first locating in water wells, because we owned a big water well drilling company. And that was uh, kind of where I got my start in the water well industry. And then word got out that I, you know, my grandfather could find oil. And so I started getting calls in the last 10 years for locating oils in Texas and Nebraska, Kansas, Nevada, Utah, uh, California. So I've been hired by clients and some pretty large names. Uh, a retired CEO of King Ranch in Texas, worked there for five years. Uh, so it's been fun. It's been, you know, exciting. You get to travel a lot and see a lot of country and... And your dad you know. did this too, so it just didn't jump from yeah, grandpa actually, to you. Yeah, actually it was my grandfather and then my uncle. My uncle okay. was more into the water. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandfather was a lot into oil. And, you know, ever since I was young, I knew when I'd go out some water wells, I, I'd find gas because my rods would open up when I hit into gas and where there's gas there's usually oil nearby too. So I've always, kno I've always known I could find it. And it's just been into recently in the last 10 years that I've been locating oil and we've got a big problem in this country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to find a lot Everybody more oil. Everybody knows that, yeah. Yeah, so. And I have a lot of knowledge where the oil is that is undeveloped. That's the other plus with hiring me so there might be a company that wants to drill on private land since we've been restricted by po government policy today where I know of a lot of private lands where the oil is so in what's, uh, many of the states. What's a typical kind of customer for you? Because we're not talking about huge conglomerates. We're talking about individuals and families and yeah, people with farms from, and ranches. Absolutely. And, and, and what's so great about me is I'm affordable and... Uh, and also accurate. Yeah, yeah, very accurate. So it's a win-win. It's a and I'll come out to the property and tell you how deep and actually how many barrels a day each well will produce. And that's, I mean, that's, that's huge. A client could spend, I mean, a lot of money on scientific methods and proof you know, uh, to even see if there's oil there. Okay, so when a client, a prospective client calls you, what is the first thing you do? Yeah, so the first thing we need to find out who owns the mineral rights, and that's one of the first things the client has to do, is either contact a title company or a land ban and make sure that they own them. So if you then, own land, wait a minute, so you own land, so if you, own land you, you may might not, not own the mineral rights on no, your own the, land? the government or another oh. corporation could have bought them years prior to you buying wow. that land. Wow, okay. And so, and that, and that takes some time and a little bit of research. But once they find out they have their mineral rights, then I'll come in and do a, like a, a remote map dowsing. People send me maps like this, mm -hmm. like a USGS map. Mm -hmm or a, a Google Earth topo map of their property, of whatever acre it is. And I can actually do a remote dowsing to see if the actual oil's there. Now, to get more detail, obviously they've got to hire me to come out and actually find the oil, you know, boots on ground. Mm -hmm. And my, my uncle actually taught me this. Uh, and I was a skeptic, I mean, how do you douse remote, not even being on the property? Whoa, whoa, so you can do, you can oil douse by just using a map first? Like, yeah, to wow. get a sense if it's actually there. It'll, it'll give you the areas where the oil is. 
that's probably great for any clients calling in that are just don't even know anything. So it's like a preliminary it's before a, you, know, you come out, they have an idea that there is something there. Yeah, because I, I don't want to waste It's a little their, comforting, right? <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to waste their money if if there's no oil there. I don't want to spend their money and, you know, actually go physically go out there and say, sorry. Yeah. Here's a here's a bill and even though I'm very affordable, it's a nice way to say yeah you you have potential let's let's look into it further mm -hmm. so now we've heard about map oil dowsing which is still a crazy concept to me rob is going to show us a little bit about how he does that yeah so here i've got a usgs map of uh, in texas and i use a metal pendulum this actually is called a witness because there's actually oil inside this. This screws off and I have actually oil inside the, the dowsing pendulum. What I'll do is I'll give it, I'll give it, I always give it a kick. That's called grounding. And I use this ruler to slide across the paper. And when my pendulum starts swinging in a, see that? Where it starts yeah. swinging in a clockwise motion, there's oil. So I'll stop the ruler, I'll draw a line through it, and I'll, I'll do that all the way through, but I, I just want to show you this one, keep it simple. I hit it to ground out. I'll start at the bottom and work, work my way up. And when it gets into oil, sometimes it'll get into gas and turn counterclockwise, but when it gets into oil, See, here it goes. I'm into oil right there. So what I'll do is draw a big circle around this. There's oil in this area. And then I'll come down from the top to make sure, see, see if there's any other oil in this area. No, it's, well, it's actually, it goes up farther. So there might be a big plume of oil in here because it started swinging here too. And then I know they've got oil here. So then it's a matter of actually going out to the land to determine the depth and how many barrels a day and the quality of oil. Um, and you know, go from there. And, th and that gives you a good start. Uh, it's a good security for the client. And so, and I'm looking for commercial or, or, or commercial gas too. So you can either have both oil and a gas well. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It blows people away. Yeah. After you've done the map dowsing, what's the next step? You find, and you do find something, what's the next step after that? Yeah. So then I'll contract with the owner, you know, if they want to move ahead towards locating the oil and I'll go out to the property wherever it might be, and uh, actually physically dowels with rods and a, a larger pendulum. Once you're down boots on the ground, do you yeah. map out what's, uh, what they have? So I use, I use these uh, bronze rods, and I'll uh, ground out when I get on the property, you know, and uh, just either start walking it or driving it. I have a smaller set for the car because these are kind of big, but when I'm walking, I'll use these and what happens, it'll just cross when I get into the oil. Mm. And it'll stay cross for a long time. Um, sometimes, or smaller, if there's streams, there's rivers of oil and different, you know, stratas. And uh, when, when I get into gas, they wanna open up like this. I'll just open wide up. Um, and then once I pinpoint actual, the locations where to drill, then I'll, I'll um, cause I'll find a pool, not everywhere in that pool is gonna be good to drill. There's specific points in the pool that are the best places to drill for the maximum yield. And that's what I look for, is the maximum barrels a day production. Then I'll use this, mm -hmm. a pendulum, to determine the depth. I, I'll give it a kick and count the rotations like 100 feet, how, how, how deep should this well be? 100, 200, 300? And so say it gets down to 5,000 feet 
and then it, it just dead stops. Mm -hmm. So this well should be 5,000 feet. And then I'll, I'll give it a kick on the ground, ground out, mm -hmm. and find out how many barrels a day. Will this, will this well make 10 barrels a day, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and then it stops. So, you know, between 90 and 100 barrels a day, which would be a great well. Yeah. Uh, even now these days, a, a 10 to 20 barrel a day with the price of oil is a phenomenal money maker. So. Yeah. <laughs> Fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll do the same thing with uh, with the uh, quality, you know, mm -hmm. with the pendulum. Figure out, you know, is it greater one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. and it'll dead stop where 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 the quality is. Is there still a use for lower quality gas? Oh, God, yeah. You know, no, it, it is. It's, it's just a little different price, you know. Yeah. Price point. Um, is it used for different You're, things? Is it different grades of oil used for different things, or do they just pro have to process like, it like, differently? Like the more more your gas is kind of refined, or oil is refined, like a like gas and jet fuel, the higher price, the lower, the more thicker oil, like for lubricants and oh, got it. Um, that type is. It's all less, useful, but, so oh, yeah, yeah, no yeah. one's losing out if they have right. gra a low grade. <laughs> right, right, right. It's all useful. Not right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've learned some really amazing things today about oil dowsing and what you do, and I just think it's really great service that you have and can really help people out. Um, if someone has oil or gas on their property and they're just unsure, but they want to find out, um, what is it they can do next to kind of help facilitate finding out? How do they contact you? Yeah, the best way is to go to my website at robthompsondowsing.com. They can either email me, phone me, or text me, and I'll get back to ASAP and we'll, we'll, we'll follow it up and... Uh, you know, find out if they've got the black gold.